Hey guys, it's Alina here, and today I have my August monthly favorites video. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love monthly favorites videos and you want me to keep doing them, because I'd be happy to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I feel like I don't have that many monthly favorites. I've been using a lot of the same items from my previous videos, so I will just show you what's new or what I haven't talked about in a little bit. The first item is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I have mentioned this before in Monthly Favorites, but the new-ish part to it is the color that I've been using. So in previous videos, I've been talking about the color Lyric, which is the yellowish shade. And I've been talking about that to set my under eye concealer, but I've actually been using a Levitation. I've actually been using that to set my under eye concealer and I actually like it better than the yellowish tone just because it's a little closer to a skin tone color, but it still has kind of a color correctingness to it. I don't know if that's a word, but whatever. So I absolutely love it and I've been using that like crazy. So another huge favorite of mine this month are the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I have never really been a fan of liquid lipsticks. I've never really liked them, but I bought a few of these and bought a few more and bought a few more and I have fallen in love with these. I really, really like the color Aisha. Also a huge fan of the color Bachelorette. I have a bunch of shades and I pretty much love them all. They're amazing. They last a really long time. I like how they apply. They are drying because they are a liquid lipstick, but they're not as drying as some other ones that I've tried. I just absolutely love it. The shades that are available are incredible as well. When it comes to taking off the liquid lipstick, I have been obsessed with the Sephora Ultimate Oil in Gel Lipstick Remover. I got this in the sales section of the Sephora website. I think it was $5, which is half off. And this stuff is amazing. You put like a little bit over your lipstick, wait 30 seconds, and then you wipe it off and it comes off so easily. Prior to this, my lips would get all tore up because I'd just be trying to take it off with a baby wipe, which obviously does not work well. The next favorite I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Travelers Palette. This is their latest 12 eyeshadow palette. I did a full video on this as well as a blog post. And I have been digging this palette so much, but especially for this shade right here, Intense Gaze. It's like nothing I own. It's incredible. Really, really amazing. So next up is Estee Lauder's Nutritious Vitality 8 Radiant Moisture Cream. And this is a deluxe sample, but I started using this after I ran out of my Tarte Maracuja Oil in the small little bottle. And this cream feels like angels touching your face. It's just... I've never felt a cream like this. It's just a simple night cream. It can be used during the day as well, but there's no SPF stated, so I don't like to use moisturizer that doesn't have SPF for daytime, so I just use this at night, but it feels like no cream I've ever felt before. It's incredible. Keeping on with the whole skincare thing, I have to talk about my Philosophy Purity 3-in-1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes. I love this cleanser. This is my second bottle of it. It lasts a really long time because you only have to use a little bit. It takes off makeup really effortlessly. It's incredible. I love it. It's a little pricey, but I get it during Black Friday time because Sephora does a bottle like this, which is 12 flowing ounces for $10. The retail value of this would be $26, so you get a really good deal. Next, I'm going to talk about a brush. This is Crown Brush brand, and the number is C463 and it's an angled liner brush. I think it's a liner brush. It might be a brow brush too, but I love this for after using like a liquid lipstick. It's very hard to like clean up the area, so what I do is I take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, I put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I kind of put this in, and it lines really, really nicely, and it gives you a really sharp look when it comes to the liquid lipstick. Love it. As far as other favorites, I never really talk about TV or music, but I figured I would start doing that. So lately, if you've been following me on social media, you know that I've been watching Dance Moms like nonstop, and I've just been obsessed. I don't have television, so I have to like buy the seasons or whatever online, and I have been watching it nonstop. And if you don't already know, I used to be a ballet dancer, so it really kind of brings me back to that world. and gets me like super excited because I loved ballet so much when I was younger. And because of this show, I think that's why the music I've been listening to the most is Sia's album Thousand Forms of Fear because Maddie on the show, she 
does free of Sia's music videos. So I've been listening to the entire album, but especially those the two major songs, which are Chandelier and Elastic Heart. And I know I'm super late to the game with this, but I don't listen to the radio either. I kind of just listen to whatever I feel like listening to on my phone. In some way, I'm really disconnected from the world, so I'm starting to catch up. But yeah, so those are the two shows and music that I've been listening to the most. So I know that was short. I told you guys I didn't have that many favorites, but those were my favorites for the month. Be sure and let me know what your favorites are this month. I'd love to know. Just leave me a comment. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a great one. See ya.